हेलो स्टूडेंट सो लेट एस स्टार्ट अवर डिस्कशन और टूडे टॉपिक इज एरेथमेटिक लॉजिक शिफ्ट सर्किट नाउ दिस विल बी द कंक्लूडिंग सेशन फॉर दिस चैप्टर सो टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस एरेथमेटिक सर्किट देन वी हैव डिस्कस लॉजिक सर्किट एंड देन वी हैव डिस्कस शिफ्ट सर्किट सो इन दिस टॉपिक we will combine arithmetic logic and shift circuit in such a way that we can form the arithmetic logic shift unit or which uh, or you can say uh, accumulator okay the unit which will perform the arithmetic logic shift operation and it will store the immediate result so let us start the discussion so uh, if you look at the figure then this is how arithmetic logic shift circuit looks like now here you can see the circuit is divided into two part uh, from here if we mark this portion okay then this from this portion uh, to the right side and to the left side so as you can see in left side we are having two circuit arithmetic circuit and logic circuit here a and b or a i and b i so uh, means individual bits of circuit, uh, variables or registers so uh, it will be given as a input to arithmetic circuit and logic circuit this entire arithmetic circuit is what we have discussed previously so uh, this circuit will perform the operation of arithmetic of micro operation then logic micro operation and last two will be used for uh, shift so if we start from uh, um, first so uh, let uh, first of all let us see that how many selection inputs are there so there are total four selection input so if we uh, try to find out all the possible combination then we can have a total 16 operation so let's see which are those 16 operation so as you can see uh, s2 and s3 is given as a input to uh, 4 cross 1 multiplexer so if input is 0 0 then it will select uh, input number 0 which is arithmetic circuit if input is 0 1 then it will select the logic circuit if input is 1 0 then it will select the ai minus 1 means previous bit uh, uh, with uh, respect to current bit uh, for shift right and if you will give One one is input. Then it will select the uh, next bit compared to the uh, current bit. So uh, mainly, if we divide the truth table, then it will be divided into four part. This is the first part for input number zero. This is the second part for input number one. This is part number uh, three, and this is part number four. Okay, so this is four zero zero. This is four. you can say 0 1 this is for 1 0 and this is for 1 1 now if you try to recall the circuit or operation uh, from arithmetic uh, arithmetic unit okay then those operations are uh, i think there we have discussed total uh, Uh, seven or eight operation. Okay, so transfer was two times. So we can say eight operation. So if we start uh, from here, okay. Now uh, again, I just forgot to discuss that the uh, operation of these two circuit is dependent on selection input S zero and S one. Okay, so uh, whatever input you will give. as s0 and s1 okay accordingly that operation will be performed into arithmetic circuit in case of arithmetic circuit s0 and s1 will be combined with the input carry so uh, total we can have uh, three selection parameters s0 s1 and ci for arithmetic circuit while in case of logic circuit we will have only two s0 and s1 why because we don't care the uh, input carry so if we try to recall those operation then uh, uh, for first combination it was uh, addition next was 
addition with carry then subtraction with borrow then i think uh, subtraction was there then transfer was there then next was increment then next was decrement and last was again transfer if we consider the logic circuit then first operation was and then second was or next was xor and last one was or not and this is for shift right and next one is for shift left so if we consider this circuit for one bit okay and if we are having 64 bit alu then we will have this kind of 64 unit where each unit will perform the individual bitwise operation okay so i hope student uh, you have enjoyed the session okay so let me just try to uh, quickly revise the uh, theory or topic whatever we have discussed so this circuit will be divided into two part uh, left side to this marked line and uh, right side to this marked line so this circuit will play a role of selecting input uh, from left side and forwarding the output so if we uh, look at the various selection then uh, uh, first selection is uh, from uh, first input is from arithmetic circuit next is from logic next is for shift right and last one is for shift left now if you recall the arithmetic circuit then uh, uh, we we can, uh, we have taken uh, input carry and we will get the uh, output carry so di will provide the output from the arithmetic circuit now arithmetic circuit uh, will perform the operation based on selection input s0 s1 and ci okay so if we consider three parameter then uh, uh, this three will give us total eight operations so those eight operations are from arithmetic circuit next logic circuit so in logic circuit we will not consider c uh, carry input so we will consider only s0 and s1 so in that case we are having two combination uh, two input so we can have a total four possible combination so these are the four operation and or xor and not and last two uh, to this multiplexer is uh, shift right and shift left thank you